Hey guys, welcome to my apartment tour video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I moved into this condo, I believe it was in March, and it's been my fun little project, just decorating the space and making it feel like home. I am excited that I can finally share it with you guys because this is a highly requested video, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've enjoyed decorating this space and I'm in that place where I feel like I can share it with you guys to see the little bits and pieces that I've put in the apartment. Now, before we do that, I wanted to give you guys some answers to a lot of questions that I get regarding rent, how much I pay, where the apartment is located, and all of that good stuff. So first of all, this is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment, no den. Uh, it is in Etobicoke, Toronto, and it is located by the lake shore. I pay about 2050, that is 2050 Canadian dollars in rent, and that does not include any utilities or um, internet, home internet. It is really just the rent, and that comes with like storage and parking. So I have storage and parking, um, in the building. Another thing is, I know people ask me what is my average cost for utilities a month. I'm looking at about 150 if I think of hydro, um, electricity, as well as home internet. So all of that cost, you know, brings me up to like 150. On top of my rent, this is costing me roughly about 2,200 a month to maintain this space. Now, I believe that's a really good price because of where it's located. This is a very prime neighborhood. It's an upcoming neighborhood in Toronto. And on top of that, it's just, you know, it's a neighborhood that a lot of people want to stay in. And I love that. So without further ado, let us round up all this rambling and let us go straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, let's roll straight into the video. So when you walk into the unit, you have two doors to your right and to your left. So on this door here, I have just a stackable washer dryer. And I use this for, you know, instant laundry is very necessary. This is for my laundry. I have just at the top some detergents and stuff like that. Nothing fancy. We're going to close this. On this side, I have actually a closet. I'm not going to open it because I'm slowly transitioning into fall. So my closets are kind of messy. So we're going to leave this closed for now. But anyways, this is a closet um, and I use this to like store like my fall jackets, my fall and winter jackets, as well as my fall and winter boots. Um, that's what this closet I use it for. On this door here to my left, this is the door into the bathroom. So coming, let me show you guys what the bathroom looks like. When you walk into the bathroom, I just have a regular sink, nothing fancy. At the bottom of my sink, I have some storage space. And in here, I put like some storage drawers that I actually got off Amazon. They're a lifesaver because they just help me organize what the you know bottom shelf looks like. And I just have some of my hair products, some of my skincare products. I am a skincare product junkie. So I keep getting products in PR and I also keep buying products for myself. So it's very important to me that I have a space that everything is just neatly organized. And if I wanna try something new, I just kinda of like reach under the sink, pull out a drawer and I try something new from there. So that's it for under the sink. On the sink, I have just like this really nice, um, glass jars that i actually got from simon's home simon's home is like one of my favorite stores i got this glass jar i got two of them so i use one for hand wash and the other one is for um, hand lotion um to organize my skincare products that i actually reach for every day these are my current you know this is my current rotation these are the products that i use on a daily basis day and night um i have this organizer is this claire acrylic organizer this is also from simon's very inexpensive i believe this was maybe like what 10 between 10 to 15 dollars very very inexpensive but also very very effective and it's just like neatly tucked in the corner over here and then of course i have my toothbrush so on the toilet seat, I have this really nice wick basket. This is from Zara Home, very inexpensive, but very effective for like um, organizing. And in here, I just have like tissue paper, some baby wipes, um, diffuser, as well as, you know, like a room spray. This room spray, I swear by it, is from Simon's Home. It is so, so good. Like it smells so, so good. Every time I just like do a little spritz in the room, I'm just like, heaven so yeah that's pretty much it it's really nice here it just fits nicely into the bathroom um over the toilet seat i have this painting from one of my girls nikki allison i'm actually going to pop her handle right here nikki she's on instagram find her it's just a really really nice abstract painting the frame itself is from ikea and i believe it's like what five dollars you know roughly about that so this is from nikki and the frame is from ikea 
what else this bathroom I'm going to say I really kept the theme to black and white because I wanted to match the marble floors so you see that there's not a lot of you know things going on in here which I mean should there be a lot of things going on in your bathroom I don't think so I just have this really nice hook on the side here where I used to like hang my towel when I'm in the bathtub or like I hang my robe or my bonnet so that's pretty much it from the bathroom we are now going to walk out into the living and kitchen area So this is what the kitchen looks like. The living room and the kitchen is a very open space, so it was very important to me to be able to, you know, create that demarcation for what is for cooking and what is my living area. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through the pieces that I have in this kitchen. I spend a lot of time in here, so it was very important to me that it's functional, but it also looks pretty and it ties to the rest of the apartment. So obviously the first piece in the kitchen is this counter table and this is actually from crate and barrel they were so nice to gift me this really nice table with this travertine top so i use this actually as um, uh, a surface to like cook to like entertain to work sometimes when i'm working i work from home so sometimes i sit here to work from home and one thing that i also really like is that i have these stools underneath this table that i can pull out when i need to eat or i need to like i said work or do something on the table and then I could just put it back in when I will need it. Chono apartments are really small so it's very very important that I have you know room for foot traffic and I wanted to leave the space open for that. So on this side I just have this countertop um, with a stove top. I have this really nice lazy Susan that I actually used to put like all of my cooking utensils. I have a little plant here I have, you know, paper towel as well as my set of knives and this just goes nicely on the counter table and just kind of like blends with the whole aesthetic here. Really, really nice. And I have a lot of cabinet space in this apartment, which is something that I absolutely love. It's like the whole thing here is cabinet space. In here I have like my plates and my cups. Here I have, you know, spices. So I have like all of the spice jars. I got the spice jars from Dollarama, very inexpensive, they're like a dollar. And then I got labels as well from Dollarama and I just wrote the name of the spice on this. I'm Nigerian, so I couldn't get one of those printed fancy ones that I see on Pinterest because I have a lot of spices and spices change all the time. So I just thought this was the best way to keep the spices. I got this rack organizers from HomeSense. They're really, really good. So that's it for the spice jar. Uh, at the top here, I have this canisters that I actually got from Walmart. And I have the same label system where I just wrote the names on labels and I put it on the canister. These are really nice canisters because they're acrylic, they're not glass. I can get really clumsy, so it was important that I don't have things that, you know, would just fall and break. Down here, I have my dishwasher. It's empty right now, thank God. So I have my dishwasher down here. So in here I have like my little utensils, all of my spoons and my forks, and they're just organized nicely into this tray um, that I got, I believe it was from Ikea. Really, really nice. And here I have some coasters, some Ziploc bags, some foil paper. I really, 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 really like those coasters. They're really heavy. I believe I got them from, oh, it doesn't say, but I've had those for a really, really long time. I believe it was Indigo. It was Chapters Indigo, yeah, really, really good. Um, it's very important to me that, you know, everything has a place. I really am really about organization, so it's important to me that everything in my apartment has a place. If you don't have a place, I probably don't need you, and you got to go. So, yeah, I've organized all of the cabinets really nicely, of course, on this. It's just my fridge. It's a pretty decent-sized fridge, um, you know, holds a lot of stuff. I have a freezer at the bottom, which is Gucci. This really nice centerpiece is from Crates and Barrel, and I just have that neatly placed on the table. That's pretty much it for the kitchen. On the other side of the kitchen is my little office, and yeah, let's just see what the office looks like. So this is my little home office space. I actually put the shelves up myself, so big up me i'm very proud of that now let me walk you guys through what i have here i have this really nice glass table i got this from wayfair on it i just have you know my imac as well as my laptops so i have two laptops and i've just organized them in the stand that i got from amazon 
Um, this chair is actually from Ikea. I've had this like since two apartments ago. I absolutely love it. Um, here I have some boxes that I got from Ikea and in there this is to organize like papers and like my wires, all of my charges and stuff like that. I organize them in these two boxes, which is really, really good because like I said, I always like for things to have a place. So it's nice that it's just neatly tucked away. This table is probably like my favorite piece in this whole office because when I had like a little accident one time, something fell from one of the shelves, this table didn't break and I was like, Oh, I mean, I guess that's good. So really, really like that. Um, and I like the fact that it just kind of like disappears into the room. So you don't really see the big table, even though if it's a huge piece, you don't really see it because it's just neatly tucked into this space. By the way, I did measure this space before I got my table, which is a tip that I always give to people that are decorating. Have a measuring tape. It is very, very important because you will be buying stuff and you need to know how it fits. So I measured this and then I bought a table that fits exactly into it. So for my shelves, I got this from Home Depot and on them I just have like some decor pieces. I have this plant that I got from Indigo. I believe this big box here is from HomeSense. Like I said, I'm a HomeSense kind of girl. Um, and just like some vases with some plants and stuff like that. I absolutely love that green plant at the top. It's actually from Crate and Barrel. Love it. This vase is also another fave of mine and that is from Indigo and I just have some dried plants in there. One thing that I've done here is instead of having bookends, I have like decor and vases to organize my books. All of these books I have read, some, maybe twice, I've read Stay With Me like almost three times now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my office. It's just my space that I used to work from home. I have the Alma Chronicle as well as my nine to five job, so this really comes in handy. Let us go into the living area. This is the living area. This is where all of none of the magic happens. I have this nice TV mounted on the wall. This is actually a 50 inch Samsung QLED and it's just mounted on the wall, regular schmuggler. Um, I have this really nice console table. This is actually a bench. This is actually a dining bench um, that I'm using as a console table because I didn't want anything bulky. The space is already quite small. So I wanted something that could, you know, function as a console table, but was not too big. And I could also put decor in it, right? So I have this console table. I actually got this from Urban Barn. I absolutely love it. It gives me that rustic farmhouse vibe and it just fits perfectly with the rest of the apartment. And it also fits with the floors. Like when I brought it in, I was like, it's exactly the same color as the floors and I absolutely love that. On it, I have just some decor pieces. I have this vase that I got from Zara Home and in it I have dried flowers because it's fall now, we are making the transition. We are making the transition into fall. So I have this um, dry flowers that I got from HomeSense and I have just put it in this vase. I have this vase here from Zara Home as well. It's quite empty right now. Um, but sometimes I put flowers in it, but it's empty right now. I have this really nice tray from HomeSense, actually. I have this really nice tray from HomeSense, and I use it to hold a remote a diffuser as well as a candle. Very, very efficient, very minimal, as well as this really nice candle that I got from HomeSense. Smells really good. It's actually an aromatherapy candle so I don't even need to light it it just like fills the whole room with that very you know I don't know what the word is but it's just very it's very therapeutic and it's very calming that's what this candle is for never been lit probably will never be lit it's more for decor I have this coffee table book um, that I got from Amazon it's called the new black Vanguard and I actually haven't removed the paper, whatever. Anyways, so that's it for this part of the room. On this other side, I have this really nice couch that is actually more of a loungy couch. It is so, so comfortable and I love it so much. It's actually from Structube. This is called the Erin couch and the backrest is actually adjustable, but we're not gonna do that right now. It's adjustable so you can either have it forward or all the way back. I have it all the way back because I like to lounge here and it's also really soft so i love it i have some pillows on it and these are from crate and barrel on the wall over the couch i have this really nice abstract print i feel like this is what you know ties the whole room together and this is from crate and barrel it is just a, like it's such a nice print when i saw it out of the package i was like 
this is so beautiful and they were so nice to gift it to me so thanks to the cnb team um what else do i have in here i have this really nice um armchair as well this is also from Structube. i don't remember what this is called but this is also from Structube. and i'll sit here if i want to like read a book um but i don't want to be on that couch if i want to read a book or if i have other people over it does help to have extra seating and this um so pillow is from crate and barrel as well on this side of the room i actually have some extra pillows as well as a blanket and they're just tucked into this really nice rafting basket and i got this from home sense and it's just tucked really nice to the side i have this plant from a black owned company in toronto they're called grow for it and they actually deliver to me so you can place your order online and then they'll send it over to your apartment which i believe is amazing um so yeah and i just have that actually in a nice pot that i got from amazon it's a snake plant i'm hoping i don't kill it because i'm really bad with plants um you can see i don't have a coffee table and that's because i don't need it i personally don't think it's necessary in the space i already have a small space there's no need to congest it more with you know extra things so one thing that i do have is on this side i have stools and the stools serve as you know like my little coffee table if i was eating here i'd have it placed on a stool the stool also helps when i need to reach my top cabinets because i am quite short so the rug is this really nice um juche rug i believe that's what it's called i got this from wayfair it's a really nice rug it's very low maintenance rug actually and it's actually it feels so you know soft on my feet which is pretty good so yeah i feel like that's pretty much what i have in the living area it's very minimal there's not a lot going on it works for me and yeah last but not the least we gotta see the bedrooms So this is what my bedroom looks like. I have just kept this very minimal because I love when my bedroom feels very airy. It's like my little zen. And so I decided to not clutter it. I hate clutter so much and even worse when it's in the bedroom. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the pieces that I have in here. Um, a lot of them are like from home sense, but I'm just still gonna tell you guys what I have. At the top here, this your shams are actually from home sense and they come in a pack of two. And I believe these are $50 for the pack of two. I have regular pillows. These are just the standard pillows that I got from, I believe it was, um, I don't remember where the pillows are, but I know that the pillowcases, this is for the duvet cover and this is from Home Sense. The one at the back is from a Canadian brand called White Terry Home, which is also the same bed sheet that I'm using. I love White Terry Home. Like I've talked about them on my Instagram. If you follow me, you've heard the name before. The sheets actually feel like I'm sleeping on a cloud. I kid you guys not, it is so amazing. The bed frame is from Ikea and this is a double bed. Yes, this is a double and it's from Ikea. It is the Ikea mom bed and I have it in the color, I believe it's walnut. So over the bed, I have these two um, artwork. They're from Nikki Allison as well, same person that did the artwork in the bathroom. And I have them in these frames from Ikea very inexpensive frames um yeah that's pretty much it for the bed one thing that i absolutely love about this bed is the extra storage space that it has underneath a lot of chono condos have very small closet space and i have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff right so it was very important to me that i get extra storage and this bed actually comes with four big drawers as you can see here i have all of my denim and i have other drawers there's one drawer here there's one here there's two on the other side and they store like extra clothes like my pajamas my linen so like all of my beddings very 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 helpful i think that is probably my selling point of this bed the fact that i could just have you know extra storage to put extra clothes underneath and just tuck that away on this side of the room i have this side table and this is from struck tube this is from struck tube i love this table because Number one, it has this really nice marble top um, and it just kind of like elevates a very plain table, which I really, really like. On it, I have this frame. Sorry, I have this lamp from, I believe I got this from HomeSense. And then I have this tray that I actually got from Zara Home. And on it, I just have this little marble top that I use to put on my earrings when I'm going to bed. I have this candle from Zara Home. This is the white jasmine candle as well as my trusted diffuser from Vitruvi. 
so that is what i have on this table i also have that i also like that it has this pull out drawer where i could just use to store like my journals and things that i would read before going to bed so all that is neatly tucked away in this drawer so on this side i have this really nice side table from zara home really i love the legs it's just like adds a little juice to the room um on it i have this frame with a quote one of my favorite quotes that says in between goals is a thing called life that has to be lived and enjoyed and it is signed alma <laughs> and i just have that on here i also have this vase actually from zara home i really like how concrete it is it adds a little texture to the room and in it, I have this pampas grass. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the struggle I went through to get this pampas grass. I literally picked it off the streets because pampas grass is so expensive, guys. It is so, so expensive. So I picked this off, um, I picked this up off the street and I just like arranged it and I put it in this vase. So that's pretty much it for my apartment tour. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it so far. I hope that you can get inspiration if you're just moving into a new home or you're even trying to decorate a space that you already live in. I'm going to link as many things as I can in a blog post and share with you guys so it can be easily accessible for you to buy. A lot of things I bought just walking into store, for example, the things that I got from HomeSense, it's gonna be really, really hard for me to find, you know, links to that, but I will see if I can find something very similar and share with you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Leave a comment below if you like this video, share with your friends, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.